What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Lou back in again with my team video. Today's my video is on the Thawmaker Maker that came out today's Beast promo. He's a center slash power forward. If you guys have been playing uh, my team for a while, you know they always try to boost him up a little bit. But I don't think it's just that time of the uh, year yet. But they did drop a Thawmaker, Maker. He's always like somewhat usable because he is seven foot tall. He is seven foot tall. He can play a power forward. So, I mean, we just got to check him out. Hopefully, you guys subscribe. We're on the road to 300 subscribers by the end of January. Let's get right into it. He's a 90 center slash power forward. Thawmaker, maker, seven feet tall, 221 pounds. They usually give him some sort of ball handle. Uh, just, I think it's just because he's extremely skinny. Um, But he has an 84 shot three with an 84 mid range with an 80 driving dunk with a 79 ball handle, which is kind of insane for being seven foot tall. Um, an 85 block, which is probably going to feel a lot better, like, uh, higher, just because he's 7 foot and he's just going to be shot blocking everybody, uh, hopefully. He has a 77 perimeter defense with a 77 interior defense. The 77 interior is low, but he is 7 foot tall, so that makes up for a, a little bit of it. He comes with an 89 defensive uh, rebound with an 88 offensive. 80 speed, which he is on the slower and the centers that are right now. 79 speed with ball, 80 uh, acceleration with an 85 vert, with an 88 stamina, 77 lateral quickness. So he is going to struggle like left when uh, players are trying to zigzag because of the lateral quickness is low. Comes at a 70 shot contest, so it, it is a pretty uh, pretty like good level. If that makes any type of sense, I don't even know if that makes sense. But he does come with Hall of Fame Pogo Stick, which is one of the best badges for centers to have. Comes with Brick Ball Goal, Brick Starter, uh, Lob City Finisher, Hook Specialist, Rebound Chaser. I don't think he comes at any shooting badge. Okay, he does come with set shooter. Quick first step goal without a center is kind of insane. Fast twitch. He doesn't come with the, like the major badges, but he does come with some badges. But as usual, as per usual, we go on to triple threat. Uh, I mean, we go on to freestyle, and then we play triple threat online to test out how he performs against other cards and stuff like that. But we're a star maker. Hopefully, they gave him a decent shot, so he is usable for budget ballers like myself. But he's probably not gonna make my team because Josh Smith is on my team, and I run a lot of uh, small ball. But he does have hot zones everywhere except uh, the top of the key and left side uh, in the left uh, corner and mid range area. His shot is cash. I like that shot already. Just for a center alone, that's a, a pretty damn good shot. Yeah, that shot is going to be butter for uh, center. Just wait until his Galaxy Opal comes out, man, because they always give him a Galaxy Opal. That small forward or some crazy stuff out of position. I'm surprised they haven't done out of position players yet this year. But, I mean, the shot is cash. You guys see it. You just got to get used to the timing on it. But, man, this card's going to be um, pretty damn good to face. Well, not face. I'm going to hate facing him because he's so damn tall. And a lot of budget ballers are going to have him. He's only worth, like, 3,000. Um, He will have, like, um good dunking animations because he is 7 foot. So, he's going to have, the like, the simple ones. He's not going to have the crazy 360s, which I like a lot better than, like, having, like, crazy 360s again blocked a uh, majority of the time. Um... Says how his post fadeaways he's celebrating right now for a little drop step uh, against nobody. Post fadeaway, nice. Pull up, nice. Let's check out his fadeaway. Or his dunking, because he wanted to dunk when I was going for a fade. But, it, I mean, it's all cool. Quick first step should get him a little bit of a speed right past, like, power forwards. That pull up is disgusting. Because that was his pull up. That wasn't even his fadeaway. This is his fadeaway. Oh, no, that is his fadeaway. It just looks like a pull up. So, you're not going to be pulling up with Thaw Maker anytime soon. But if he's in the corner or the top right wing or the left top, uh, top wing, bro, this card is going to be a. Uh, dude, the shot is so clean. And he doesn't even come with limitless. We just got to see how he performs on defense. He does come with a 79 ball handle. So, he does feel a lot quicker and better at dribbling than most centers. So, that is a plus side on the card. And he's 7 feet tall. So, I mean, you got a 7 foot 3. Guard, basically. Oh my god, those handles are actually kind of crazy for seven foot tall. I mean, we're gonna agree one more shot. We're gonna go on to uh, freestyle, not freestyle. Triple throw online. He's extremely tired and he still agrees it. All right, so we're using Thaw Maker at the center. We're using Bob Sura with one of the new cards that came out today at point guard. We're gonna see if he can guard Serge Ibaka. If he can guard Serge Ibaka, that's a plus time because Serge Ibaka is one of the best centers in the game. I mean, Sir uh, Sura is actually pretty damn good defensively too. He just got a really lucky animation right there. I don't even know who that is at point guard. Give the ball to my man, Star Maker. Call quick ISO. Literally just cross him. Oh my God, where's he going? He was so damn tall that it literally, I think that's who is that? Jalen Brown, right? Jalen Brown helped him out. That is clamps. I mean, those baseline cheeses are just like crazy, man. I don't know how 2K still hasn't figured out how to stop that. We're gonna call him a pick and fade just because he's off balling. We literally just. Oh yeah, that's a bucket. Oh, yeah, that's a bucket. Get out of my way. You guys are doubling. It doesn't matter. Babies down low. Babies. They're really doubling, man. That's crazy. 
He's doubling Thaw Maker for no apparent reason. Should be clamps right there. We're going to play a, a extremely off-ball defense. He's just running baseline. Man, I hate when people do this. Like, bro, come on now. You're being annoying. You're not even good. You're just being annoying at this rate. That's a good shot. It's a good shot, man. But, like, I just hate guarding people like this. Like, I'm not going to, like, willingly try when you're literally just going in a circle. It's not even dribbling. That's got... It's not even a quick ISO. We're literally just going to try to get a little pick and roll action going. We're going to see if we can body Serge Ibaka, which is going to be a problem. I mean, we're going to get there eventually. I mean, Serge Ibaka is pretty damn good defensively. We're going to play a uh, half-court press since he wants to play like that. Good block, Darius Miles. We're going to have to play an on ball on this kid just because he wants to be annoying, man. So, I mean, he wanted to play like this. Let's play like this, boy. Yep. I mean, that's a block. Give me that. Darius Miles is gone. We're going to kick it out to Thawne Maker. It's a baby. You wanted to play like this? It's a baby. You a baby down low. Come on, man. Seven feet tall. Still going to be able to, like, body everybody in the paint. As you guys are hearing the commercial right now, I'm trying to get this stop. And he's going to score off the stop because I'm trying to get this commercial done. I mean, he still didn't even score because he's just going in circles. And I just realized he's trying to get some challenges done. So, guess what? You want to you wanna literally play like that against me? All right. All right. Now I know how I'm going to play him. I'm doubling his point guard the whole time. He wants to play like this, play like this. A little bit annoying. People do this, man. It just really is. Oh, my God. Those handles are kind of crazy. Those handles are kind of crazy out of seven-foot center, man. This guy's being annoying. So, guess what? Serge Ibaka can score every point. Don't care. You're not going in that paint. Don't care. Nope. Give it back. You can have it. You can have the bucket. You're not scoring another bucket with him. Nope. Not scoring another bucket. You want to play like that? Let's play like that. We're bodying everybody. Get out of my way. We're going to kick it out. Give it right back. Literally, we're going to a three-point arc. I don't know why he thinks I'm going in the paint. Oh, yeah. Where are you going? He. Oh, yeah. You reach. Doesn't matter. Baby. Come on, man. You want to play like this? Play like this. You want to play off ball on my actual dude that I'm trying to make a game plan? All right. You can't double every possession. Give me the damn ball. Every damn possession. You can have a bucket with him. He's not scoring anymore. People, I hate when people do that to me. I really do. That's, that's the one thing that triggers me. Go pick a fade action. I mean, this is a bucket. This is a bucket. This is a baby. Oh, my God. That quick first step. That quick first step on that little uh, post fit um, is kind of crazy. Not even going to lie. We're doubling. Nope. You can have that bucket. We're already here. Nope. You can have it. You can have it. Clamps. If you want to play like that, let's play like that. Come on. Oh, yeah. Where are you going? Come over here. Come over here. That's good defense. I mean, that's good defense. Too bad your, your center can't guard me. Your center can't guard me. He's too slow. He's too slow. It's not even the center. It's honestly him, to be honest with you guys. A little pick and roll action. Pick and roll. Does he wants to do that. Yeah, good luck keeping up. You're going to jump. Yup. Don't jump. Come on. It's simple, man. If you guys do like uh, paint mashing, then th this guy wouldn't be that bad of a, uh, a pickup, to be honest, because you can put him at the power forward, and he's going to be uh, like taller than almost every power forward in the game. I mean, look at this, man. This is clamps. We're there. No, we're not. We're not there. I'm going to be honest. We're not there. We're not playing any defense this game, apparently. My team just decided not to come to play to, uh, this game. Throw a bucket right there. Kick it out into a little spin. Oh, yeah. This is a baby. Oh, yeah. He's doubling. He's doubling. Don't care. Double me. Double me, then. Double me. You're not going to double me. That's a baby. We're going to take that in the paint all day of the week. Run 3-2 zone just so everybody run, uh, literally guards your position the whole time. All right, come on. This is what we're doing. He's probably sending me a message like, really, dude, you're going to do this to me? That's probably what he's doing. Yep, 3-2 zone. Good luck. You better go in that paint, homie. You can score. You can score. Don't care. You're going to kick it out. He's on, oh, he's on top. He's on top. This is his zone. This is his zone. Don't care. You can have it. You can have it. You're not scoring with him. Overall, thumbmaker has been doing his job. It is a little bit hard to play defense on this kid. But overall, offense, he's kind of impressed me because he's literally just bodying Serge Ibaka pretty damn easily. I passed that out. Don't know why. Easy three-pointer. We're going to try to shoot that. We got a little bit of space. We did time it a little bit, but I mean, this guy is just playing a lot of off ball on Thaw Maker because he knows I'm trying to score with him. That's good defense, man. That's good defense. That's good rebound by Thaw Maker, man. He outboarded him. Little snatch back action into a step back. Oh, yeah, we broke his ankles. We broke his ankles, but we missed the shot, man. Thaw Maker is definitely not going to be one of those centers that you literally just dribble the whole time with and shoot. 
um, like pull-ups with. Like, you're not just going to randomly pull up the court. Just because, literally, how do I explain it? His shot is too slow to just, like, pull up. But it, it's, if he's wide open, he's going to knock it down no matter what. I know I haven't showed you much of his jump shot. I only showed you in the in the freestyle, but it is what it is. We're doubling. No. Nope. Don't care. That's claps. That's claps. That's how we gotta play everybody that does that to me. A little behind the back action. We're getting doubled. Oh, look at that little hezzy. He had to foul me because that's a foul. They just didn't give me the damn foul. We're already here. Don't worry about it. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Nah, now we're playing on ball. What you doing with it? What you doing with it? You playing on ball. Nope. You better call a pick. You better call a pick because you don't need it. You're gonna need that pick. You're going to need that pick. That's a good pull-up. That's a good pull-up. Can't even lie. That was a good pull-up. Wide open in the corner, hopefully. I mean, that's good defense. That's good defense. He knows that I'm trying to, like, shoot with him, so I'm literally just going to kick it out to Darius Miles and green it, man. I mean, I'm trying to get you guys some jump shot gameplay, but, like, this dude is just literally just ball-hogging the whole time. Not even ball-hogging. He's literally just on me the whole time, man. You can have that. You can have that. You can win the game. Don't care. It's all good. But as you guys can see, you can definitely, like, use a uh, Thawmaker at the center or the power forward. It really doesn't even matter. We're going to shoot this this deep. I don't care. We're trying to get a, a, like, jump shot going. But this guy is just, like, he doesn't want Thawmaker to score, man. He just doesn't want him to score. I know you're trying to kick it out to the corner. That's a good shot. That's game. Um, I definitely recommend um, Thawmaker. This guy was playing a little bit annoying. That's the only reason I couldn't get a jump shot off. But if he's wide open, he's going to be able to knock it down. His jump shot is super clean. His handles are better than most centers in the game because he does have a 79 ball handle. If you guys give him a shoe and a boost with your uh, coach, he's probably going to have like an 87, like uh, 80 something ball handle, man. Like the card is insane, especially for 3,000 MT. I definitely recommend it. Let me know if you guys pick up the card, anything about the card you want me to know. And it's been your boy Lou, and we out of the same. Peace.